everybody. Welcome to the last day where I return the bike. I'm going to give my honest opinion on this 2018 Softail Slim. I gotta say, this bike is actually nice. It's, it's a nice bike. It's got plenty of power. So let's talk about that. This all stock stage, I don't know, base stock. Base stock motor. I don't think there's any stage one in upgrades there is um, aftermarket exhaust there are some uh, Cobra pipes on here which are quite loud <laughs> and it takes time to get used to them because they did have my uh, have my ears ringing the first night or first day Nice and throaty, not bad at all. These handlebars, let's talk about them for a minute. The handlebars are quite comfortable. Once you once you finally find that, that relaxed position, relax your elbows. I mean, you should relax your elbows at any, any time you're riding a bike, right? But once you relax them, these handlebars are comfortable. I do like the uh, the center gauge mount here down below. I like that old school speedometer. Talk about the suspension with these tires on here. Um, the suspension, eh, you know, it depends. Uh, I mean. You, you hit some 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 noticeable bumps and you know that they're there a uh, so the couple bumps that I hit the other day were a little jarring to me but for the most part the bike handled well it stayed true and and on its track So yeah, these tires are, are quite nice. They are comfortable. I like the, the bobber look of this bike. I like the bobber feel of this bike. And being that it is a bobber, let's get to the seat. <laughs> this seat, stock seat now, is uncomfortable. Well, for me, I'm 5'10", 195 pounds, and my rear yesterday after putting in 140 miles, was sore this 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 seat gives little to no cushion whatsoever um, so I wasn't not too big of a fan of this seat um, it, it does take a while to, to adjust your position to get it right I want my uh, I want my rear end to sit like it's being spooned, essentially. I, I want it to feel like I'm sitting in, in a catcher's mitt. Well, this one is a bit shallow. Um, and if you get on it, you can feel your butt wanting to come out of the seat. This, uh, this bike came with a windscreen. Looks like you can slide it up about a half inch to maybe three quarter of an inch higher. Um, because I am 5'10", I think this was set up for a shorter person. Uh, wind buffeting uh, really comes into play at speed because uh, it feels like my helmet was getting bashed over the head with wind and uh, it's uncomfortable, but again, I, I'm I'm used to to riding a naked bike, and maybe this bike would have been perfect if I removed the uh, windscreen. Let's see what else. Braking on this bike is fantastic. I mean, I've been one foot finger pulls on, on the brakes. 
with this uh, bike. Now, now, again, it's got 6,000 miles on it. This bike has uh, almost 7,000 miles on it. And they, they may replace the brakes, brake pads, and uh, they feel like they're brand new, so. I don't know if that's just the engineering, or the brake pads itself, or it, or how many miles this the bike has on the brake pads. But they are nice and tight and really easy, and they do stop. <laughs> Cornering with this bike, it's comfortable. Um, you do, if you're coming off of a sport bike, like I am, um, it does take a little time to get used to it because you do have to put it, the bike down a little bit more for it to, to turn. But in all, once you figure it out, it's not bad at all. Um, I have uh, scraped the pegs on this. Um, not knowing the true lean angle or experiencing the lean angle on this compared to the way I ride my uh, sporty and uh, you know it was a little, little, little like surprise because I could feel the uh, the floorboards which where the foot pegs where the where your scrape pegs are at the floorboard pops up and so <laughs> your, your feet you find your feet kind of like angling up and I'm like whoa what's that and then you realize, oh, yeah, I'm scraping. Let's see, what else? Uh, gas mileage on this is, is really decent. Um, I haven't ridden... Uh, bigger bikes and long stretches but I was probably doing uh, let's see a round trip yesterday fill up come back I think I filled up once you know probably a gallon half you're probably getting 40 something miles to a gallon which seems standard and of course it's all how you ride um, Learning to use sixth gear. <laughs> that's a uh, that's something because uh, <laughs> I've only got four gears on the sporty. So six six gear is definitely your cruising gear. And uh, that's probably where I'm saving my gas. See, mirrors are, are nice. I'm not staring at my shoulders. They give plenty of uh, visibility. I think if, if the things I would change on this, definitely number one would be the seat. Number two, I'd want to raise up the rear shock. Now, again, this. This is a rental from Winding Road, which I thank them for this uh, for their service. Actually, uh, it was very easy to uh, to uh, register and locate and, and pay for my rental for the weekend. Um, if you decide to rent through Winding Road. Uh, give yourself a, a few weeks time. I know the weather is always at play, but give yourself a few weeks time for the type of bike that you're looking for. Now, this uh, Slim was actually quite difficult to get get it aligned with uh, a dealership, and the dealership that um, actually has this bike is uh, it's it's about uh, well, 30 miles away or so, and. Uh, yeah, it, I had uh, my uh, first request uh, uh, kind of declined because uh, it was uh, well, it was the bike wasn't available or it became not available. I, I don't, 
I don't know how, how that quite works, but hey, whatever. Or it could be that, you know, me being a newer rider, that with many years under my belt, just one. <laughs> it could be that, you know, some some uh, some dealerships just don't want to take that chance, which, hey, to, uh, I, I'm fine with that. Everyone, everyone's got to be a little risk adverse sometimes. Um, let's see. Anything else I want to talk about? Oh, I think uh, you'll see uh, uh, bits and pieces of the trip to Star Rock. I hope you guys do enjoy it. Um, it's going to have to be put into different parts. I want to show you guys, you know, at least areas of it instead of jamming it into one video because you know give you a taste of the different legs of the trip or sections um, if you if I have to um, because some of the ride is it's, it's not attractive it's 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 not exciting but to be on these back roads um, and there's no one on them except you and, and your buddies that's exciting Nothing but you, open road, and wind, and, and nature. So, I hope you enjoy those videos, and thanks for watching this video. And until next time, peace and chicken grease.